Hello and welcome to a new video of Scorch Originals. Today I want to talk to you about the lob from the front area of the court. When to play the lob and which lob you have an option to. Let's get into it. So what you see here is I use a lot of height on the front wall by uh, my follow-through. And normally with my drive, what I do when my follow-through is I extend it forward. Now I go more upwards. So creating a lot of air time for the ball to get the ball to the back. Also my preparation is more like my volley. I keep it short and a little bit in front of me. So not a big swing, I go in short and I use a lot of legs to get energy in the ball. I'm using, I'm using my legs to get the ball up, up and high. Uh, you can relate this maybe to basketball. So if you throw the ball like this, you won't get it really far, but if you use your legs, it's much easier to throw the ball. These are the markers I use for my lob, either on the backhand side or the forehand side. You see it's around the middle area of the front wall. And depending on which kind of lob I play, am I going to take a little bit of risk and wanting to hit the side wall first? Or am I going straight into the back wall with my lob, just creating time for myself to get back to the tee? Uh, this makes obviously a difference in where I place the ball on the front wall. When the second bounce is getting close to the side wall, I'm gonna play a drop instead of a lob. It's getting too difficult to play the lob and probably it will be an easy volley for my opponent. So then I'd rather choose for a straight drop instead of a lob. So same on this side. As you can see, I'm moving quite low with my racket, keeping it open, but using a lot of legs to get the ball up. Um, also, with the lob, what is important maybe to realize is it's a risky shot. Like the, with the lob surface, the risk of it uh, going out of court is quite high. To avoid this risk situation, and also maybe thinking more about what you want to achieve with your lob. So I would say I hit a lob either to get out of trouble or to create time for myself uh, to come back to the tee and control my position. Um, I rather sometimes go for a lob which goes directly into the back wall than to go risky into the side wall. Um, but this is an awareness you're building in your matches. What do I want to achieve? Do I just want to have time? I can overhit it and go into the back wall. Uh, or do I want, um, want to go for the perfect lob to the side wall, creating a very difficult situation for your opponent? Um, if you go for the side wall, I would suggest only do this on an easy shot. If you're under pressure, I would probably go for the one directly into the back wall, not going for the side wall. So choosing already knowing, okay, this is an easy shot for me here. Maybe you can put a little bit more risk into your lob um, compared to when you're under pressure. Maybe go into the back wall straight away. Once you've hit that lob, a uh, few things are important. After you've hit it, please do not follow your ball too long. So after you've hit your shot, don't follow your ball all the way up to the racket of your opponent. What I think is important here is if you've hit it, you just want to get the information of your opponent. Is he going to volley it or not? Um, and return back to the tee as quick as you can, hunting the next shot. Because if they leave a loose volley or a loose shot, you want to be on it quickly to retain, retake control of the uh, rally if the lob is not perfect. So not following your shot, very important. Get all the information you can from your opponent. 
are they gonna volley it and can I volley the next shot? If they don't use enough height on, on their shot, uh, you can uh, either play maybe a straight drop or a straight drive, keeping them under pressure, you take over control uh, of the tee. Thanks for watching, hopefully this was helpful. If you like it, please like and subscribe uh, to help me build this channel and I see you on the next one.